the heart. There operates within the human body a marvelous machine. For something we talk about so much, it's remarkably hard to know what's actually happening in your own heart. So the idea is that um, in order to diagnose heart disease, you either have to do some sort of invasive process like you know, open heart surgery or um, do some sort of catheter to go up into your heart to look at you know, the, how the structures, if there's any blockages or anything like that. Um, another way is to do imaging. So you can do MRI or CT imaging. The problem with imaging, though, is that radiologist workloads have been steadily increasing over the years. One of the time-consuming tasks radiologists have to do is left ventricle segmentation. When they look at the images, they will try to look at um, the left ventricle, or the LV, which is the largest chamber in the heart. And the health of the LV is a good indicator of uh, heart health in general. But the task of looking at the LV, measuring the LV, requires manual or semi-automatic segmentation of the LV, right? So um, a cardiologist or radiologist or both have to look at the image and trace the outline of the LV. And that's a very tedious, time-consuming, error-prone process. To process the MRI scans can take an expert from 30 to 60 minutes for a single patient. Why does it take so long? The images that you look at, they can be very grainy. Uh, and there can be a lot of occlusions. You know, different parts of the heart will cover the LV depending on where in the cycle you are and where in the heart you're taking the picture. Contouring requires deep knowledge of the heart's anatomy, which also means it can be challenging to train people to trace the LV manually. And so what we want to do is apply uh, a deep learning method to it. Specifically, we use a, a deep learning model called a UNET so essentially, given an image of a heart, the model has to output a mask uh, indicating where the LV is in that image. The beauty of deep learning is that there's no need to teach the neural network heart anatomy. Once a neural network is trained on enough professional contours, it implicitly learns the features of the heart relevant to segmentation. Once you have the trained model, then you, know, you can have it running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, it doesn't get tired, it doesn't get bored, um, so it can be very efficient once you have a trained model. Manual contouring can take from 30 to 60 minutes. Automated segmentation cuts that down to less than a second. Patients are better served by doctors who aren't overworked, fatigued, and prone to making errors. Deep learning models like the one Mai is developing can help doctors cope with increasing workloads and improve patient outcomes for the 28 million Americans diagnosed with heart disease.